know, Barbara. This was a big day for your daddy. We're arriving at Marchfield, California, to be honored by President Truman and the War Department for the work that we did at the studios during the war in the making of war training films and other pictures in aiding the war effort. Now, Major Quinn will make the citation speech as written and signed by President Truman. Jack L. Warner, for exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding services to the United States from 1939 to 1945. Mr. Warner, through his experience and background in the motion picture industry, impelled by the finest patriotic motives and on his own initiative, pointed out to the arms and services of the United States forces the use that could be made of the motion picture in the effective prosecution of the war. He established the first motion picture unit of the Army Air Forces and produced more than 100 films for recruitment, training, and education of air personnel and the public. He also provided thousands of prints of feature pictures for entertainment purposes. He enabled the armed services to conserve great sums of money. But apart from any financial consideration, the energy and knowledge he provided were on a level with that of only a few civilians in the business and industrial worlds. His conduct and achievements, his devotion to the cause of his country, and his complete disregard of personal gain reflect the highest credit upon him and the government and the people of the United States. Signed, Harry Truman. General Arnold is now pinning the Medal for Merit on your daddy. As you can see, I am very proud, for less than 200 people have received this honor since George Washington, the father of our country, established this award in 1782. And your daddy was a very small boy that many years ago. This is a pun. I really hope it is. <laughs> comes the parade of soldiers in your daddy's honor, and the Army Air Force Band is playing the march. It is very warm here today, and the sun beating down on my head makes me feel like a baked potato. Hold on there now, here's another pun, I hope. Even the Air Force is putting on a show which marks the end of the ceremony. Hello, thanks, thank you, hello, hello. I'm so excited and confused that I hardly know with whom I'm shaking hands. By golly, here's old Bill Guthrie. Well, well, here's your Uncle Harry. He seems very happy too. He's beaming and smiling all over. Look who's here, Barbie. Your dear mommy. Doesn't she look sweet? I know she is proud of my medal too. We both wish you were here with us. Well, now I'm going to say goodbye for a while, darling Barbie. Mother and I love you very much, and we will soon be seeing you again. Give our very best to Perry and all your dear friends. <laughs>